Welcome to Mastering and Guideline in Ultrasound and Echo. Hi everyone. As I mentioned, transthoracic echo is the gold standard imaging technique uh, in uh, cardiac tamponade. And among in among of all those echocardiograph findings, collapsing of the cardiac chamber is uh, more most accurate and sensitive and specific finding. When we have very of an advanced stage of cardiac tamponade, usually we can see on 2D very easy uh, collapsing of the any of chambers, uh, atrium or right atrium especially and right ventricular, as you see on this clip. Uh, free wall of right atrium is collapsing very easy and uh, almost half of the cardiac cycle. Or in this, uh, you can see on this image collapsing very easy at early systole. Or in this case, again, you can see right atrium is collapsing very obvious. Or in this case, the same, you can see uh, almost all VO collapse during all cardiac cycle, or in these cases, in this case, uh, you can see right ventricle and right atrium obviously collapsed completely, and in 2D, even uh, without any those modality M mode, we can detect, oh, this is advanced cardiac tamponade. But in many cases, at early stage, 2D, uh, just judging based on 2D, is not enough uh, and is not accurate. And we have to correspond with the cardiac cycle and respiration. Timing is very important at early stage because at fraction and specific time of cardiac cycle and respiration, it starts to show up. With progressing and increasing cardiac tamponade, uh, then you can see on 2D and is detectable very easy. So uh, I brought this uh, color just I want to give you some tip. Whenever you are scanning and you know in many situations when we have uh, some kind of disorder, it disfigured the anatomy and our images and it may confuse what is going on. In those cases like this, always use two uh, tips. First, look for the uh, landmarks. For example, here you can differentiate very easy. This is left side, mitral valve, typic shape and left ventricle here we have pulmonary vein on this side uh, you are confused is this one L right side of the heart or what is this structure is that artifact or something else again those landmark intraatrial septum SVC pulmonary vein and if you focus and zoom on it you can see it. this is right atrium and right ventricular and this is pericardial effusion uh, so do, don't forget use color and follow and looking for the landmark or the same as here we have landmark aorta mitral valve septum so you know about the septum is RVOT anyway now let's go or these cases uh, sometime uh, you can see in different off access of the four chamber view you can see the even uh, collection of the uh, fluid in the pericardial is localized only on the right side. We don't see anything, but we don't judge based on the one view. Always be looking all different view and window, check all the area and anatomy structure. <clears throat> Anyway, now let's see what is what are the criteria for collapsing uh, and how we differentiate it between collapsing and squeezing of the heart or chamber, how we can differentiate it and what is the criteria for diagnosis of cardiac tamponade based on the uh, chamber collapsing. 
First of all, based on the pressure, intra-chamber uh, pressure, the sequence of collapsing, it will be a right atrium, right ventricle, LA and LV at the end. Sometimes RA and LA together without RV collapsing, it happened for many reasons. I am not going to detail too much on that. Uh, and uh, sometimes even a left ventricle may be just collapsing uh, without those other chamber, uh, especially right side. It happened, for example, in post cardiac surgery that has localized a collection of fluid on the posterior lateral wall of the LV. And uh, then timing. What is the timing of the collapsing? That is the important part. Because at early stage, at the beginning and establishing cardiac tamponade, first start with the RA and then RV. At both of them, collapsing happen at the relaxing time of those chamber. For example, right atrium at the diastole is contraction. So the collapsing on the right atrium, it happened during systolic phase. During systolic phase that correspond with the uh, R wave in the EKG. And uh, as you remember with respiratory variation, it happened at the, at the early stage at expiration or exhale because pressure on the right side dropped during <coughs> expiration. But with the advanced stage, that pressure in, in intrapericardial increase, it can expand to the even inspiration too. On the RV opposite, during relaxation is diastole. So at early stage of the diastole, collapsing of right ventricle happen. It's that correspond with the end of the T wave. When uh, increasing intrapericardial if uh, pressure increase little by little, that timing and duration of the collapse increased. Whenever the right atrial collapsing, the duration of collapsing is more than one third of the cardiac cycle, that is pathognomonic and almost 100% specific for cardiac tamponade. How we can detect and document this? With the M mode. With the M mode, we go put cursor at the line of the collapsing. If your machine give you this option that, that you can rotate the cursor, you can just cursor make it and collapsing of the free wall right atrium to this way, make it exactly parallel to that collapsing direction. It gives you a very nice M mode. If you don't have that option, you go to different off axis or the best is subcostal. You can make it cursor exactly perpendicular or parallel to the collapsing uh, free wall. Here you can see on the, if you can differentiate it, this hypoecho that pericardial is this area and this one is free wall of the right atrium and is uh, collapsing forward here, collapsing forward. So during all from the start from the R and end up to the T. So is more than half of the cycle of the cardiac and completely typical 100% uh, patient has cardiac tamponade. Or you can do it on the plaques, the same concept. You put cursor again uh, that pass through the free wall and the collapsing spot that is very obvious on the uh, free wall right ventricle and you can see exactly at the what time and how long it last collapsing. As you notice here at the end of the T start and end up to the close to the R. I hope you like it. Don't forget 
put your comment or any question about this one. Up to the next time, have a wonderful time.